Yeah. All right, so welcome to the secret to saving and building your future, uh, taking control of your own money. Uh, this is Ronald Kagape. I'm a marketing director for the International Marketing Group. And thank you, thank you, Peter, for uh, joining us evening. this evening. And so we always start lang our uh, webinars you know, with a prayer from Brother Bo Sanchez. So if you will join me, uh, let's put ourselves in the presence of God. Um, Lord, today I ask you to bless me so that I may become a blessing. I commit myself to enrich others, but because I cannot give what I do not have, I commit myself to become rich. I commit myself to serve you and to serve the poor with my wealth. Today I open myself to the abundance of your universe. Use me as your channel of love. Give me the ability to create wealth that will bless the world. Increase my financial wisdom and expand my territories. I place my life in your hands. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so a few house rules, Lampo. Uh, please turn off your cell phones or put them into silent mode so that you will not disturb yourself. Uh, close other apps and tabs you know, in your computer. The challenge normally with webinars is that there uh, are open na other windows so that can actually be confusing and you, know, you take your focus uh, off of the webinar and please uh, no taking of screenshots muna of the slides and uh, no recording of the presentation other than the one that I'm doing uh, I'm actually recording the presentation right now uh, questions will be entertained after the presentation uh, but with zoom you can actually type in any questions that you have uh, so para hin you won't forget you know, if anything comes up okay uh, and so there, write down your questions in the chat box and well, kindly participate, you know, uh, when requested. All right. Okay, so uh, Peter, uh, since this is one, virtually one-on-one, -on -one, you know, uh, why are you here? What are your expectations for this webinar? Uh, I'm here because I'm invited. <laughs> All, right. All right. Yeah. And since this is financial literacy, I'm very interested. Yeah, because... Ito, I started with financial literacy sa kanda ko nag-branch out sa real estate po. Ah, okay, okay. How did you start sa financial literacy? Uh, Doon kay, ano, ano pa din kay uh, Robert Kiyosaki. Robert Kiyosaki, reach uh, that for that. It's all right, that. all right. All right, so, okay. So, great. So, this is, this will hopefully, you know, give you more information on you know, how you can build stronger financial foundations. And so, I just want to give you background uh, why I became a member of IMG. Mm. So when, when did I join IMG? I just joined this year, uh, last May 2019. And mainly, I joined because I wanted to help my friend. Uh, she was looking for uh, people to help her. Uh, in this business so when i talked to her parang initially my idea was to help her with the digital marketing aspect so i wanted to to help uh, other coaches uh, with their digital marketing but when i looked at the presentation when i heard it i realized oh uh, call myself i had a shaky financial foundation and i needed to fix that and i'll, I'll share it later uh, why i say i have a shaky foundation so and then the other thing is that you know, people who follow me, um, one of their biggest problems is a lack of money. And so lack of money in investing mm -hmm. in real estate. So kahit bigyan mo sila ng no money down techniques, uh, they still are, they still have the, this issue, you know, with, uh, with money. So I realized that I just wanted to help them also to have extra uh, sources of income or cash flow, okay? So uh, I think you, uh, you already know about me, uh, so I won't be uh, sharing a lot, but for those of you who are watching in the recording, so, and if you don't know me, um, I wrote the book, No Money Down Formula. So I'm the author of uh, that uh, book on No Money Down Investing in the Philippines, and I've guested on radio, so I'm sure uh, I'm, I'm here dito sa We Mean Business. That is a show on uh, Raja Aguila. And I was also featured sa uh, Opla Nascenso in Radio Cinco. Okay. And I've also spoken on Real Estate uh, Investing Summit and other financial literacy summits. 
And uh, so that's my background. I'm really mainly a real estate coach and a real estate speaker. Uh, so I'm just quite new in the financial literacy uh, field. Although before I got into real estate investing, I taught people about financial literacy, just like Peter, through uh, Robert Kiyosaki's materials, through the cash flow game. Yeah. All right, now the, uh, the company IMG wrote this book, The Secret, the Secret to Saving and Building Your Future, uh, because we believe that financial education is not just for the wealthy, it's for everyone. So, yun nga, kung mahirap ka, mas important na meron kang financial education. Uh, we believe that knowledge is power, but applied knowledge is more powerful. And if you know Bo Sanchez, Bo Sanchez is one of the mentors you know, in IMG. And uh, he highly encourages that you read this book, uh, The Secret to Saving and Building Your Future. Now, uh, that book is actually available from other IMG members, if you'd like to get a copy of that. Uh, it's only 200 pesos. Okay, now a lot of people are seen as financially illiterate. This was discovered by the BSP. Uh, there is a big need for financial education. So maraming tao, uh, they retire, they're not ready. They're actually not ready to retire. Uh, they only have their SSS or kung ano man yung separation pay nila. Uh, but it's not enough to really sustain them you know, during retirement. So sometimes some of them, they end up having to work Nag-retire sila, hindi na sila nagtatrabaho sa regular job nila, pero meron sila ibang trabaho. Pwede nag nagdadrive ng grab or ng taxi or whatever uh, na trabaho ang pinapasok nila uh, in retirement. Kasi kulang sila sa alam on financial matters. So that's why uh, IMG has this mission to educate 10 million uh, Filipino families. Okay. Now, why, pe why do people fail in... Uh, for their finances. Number one is a lack of planning. So a lot of people na iba-ibang backgrounds, whether they're teachers, OFWs, doctors, in, or engineers, they, they fail in uh, financial matters. Kahit, minsan nga kahit entrepreneur. Uh, a few years ago, I think para mga 10, 15 years ago, if you've heard, if you remember, uh, Peter, there was a time na uh, sikat yung uh, anong company nga ito? Multitel. Diba? I don't know if you remember that company. But that company uh, scammed a lot of people, including this entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Yung life savings niya, around 22 million pesos nilagay niya uh, into that scam. And naubos. Diba? As ang sakit. Sayang. Diba? Ang, ang galing niya sa business. Uh, pero dung time na yun, uh, Ni, nilagay niya yung life savings niya into an investment that turned out to be a scam. So, kawawa, kawawa. So, maraming tao, that they fall into that whether magaling sila sa paggawa ng pera or hindi. And a lot, some of them retire without savings. Now, people don't plan to fail. They simply fail to plan their personal finances. That's one of the main reasons why uh, people fail in, their, in, uh, in handling their money. And then there are people who have the wrong money mindset that they believe that financial education is only for the wealthy. Wala naman silang pera. So hindi nila kailangan ng financial education. Wala namang i-handle na money. Which is of course wrong. Now some of them, uh, this one, ito, uh, admittedly when I was starting out, ito yung challenge ko. Solution to financial challenges is borrowing money. They're more interested in utang than saving and investing. So uh, lalo na ako, anak ako ng teacher. So, yung mother ko, uh, ikaw familiar ka sa mga teachers, Peter, di ba? Ah, teacher din ako eh. Ay, ikaw, teacher ka rin. Tama, tama. So, hindi ko alam kung merong ah, mga... Meron kang mga... Apo. Yes, yes. Hindi ko alam kung meron kang mga co-worker, co mga co-teacher na ang habit eh kumukuha ng mga hulugan. Di ba? Hmm. Yung mga three gives, four gives, ganyan. Tapos pag matatapos na sila magbayad, magbayad Nagbubukas na yan ng mga katalog, iisipin na naman nila kung ano yung next na mga kukunin nila. So, ganun sila umiikot sa pag, uh, paghiram ng pera at pag-utang. And some even rely on luck. Diba? May mga tao pumipila sa mga lotohan, uh, high alay, ganyan. So, tumataya hoping that they will win the big money. And then others na hirapan uh, because they belong to a community of spenders. 
who do not believe in preparing for their future. So, nagano sila na apat uh, sila sila mismo nag-uunahan sila sa paggastos or nagyayayaan sila sa uh, imbis na nagtutulungan sila mag-ipon, di ba? Uh, paunahan sila sa paggastos. So, uh, that's why some people have uh, those problems. So, uh, we need to teach people these financial concepts. A lot of people need to learn the secret to saving and building their future. So we're going to talk about four basic concepts. Uh, the first one is what are the building blocks to a strong financial foundation? So to have a strong financial foundation, ito yung recommended by the company. Now uh, you start at the bottom with healthcare, uh, long-term and short-term healthcare because you no know, people yung sickness, lalo na kung biglaan yan sakit na uh, matinding sakit ang dumapo sa iyo, yung hospitalization can really go very, very high. So, malaking, ano yan, malaking drain sa finances. And I have seen investors na they had to sell their properties para lang matustusan uh, ma yung medical needs. And this is actually one of the things that I teach, di ba? When you when you buy real estate, you buy from motivated sellers. Yung mga sellers na talaga nagmamadali. And unfortunately, ito yung isa sa mga reason bakit sila uh, nangangailangan ng pera. Now, after healthcare, you build your income protection, which is life insurance. We'll talk about that later. Uh, you eliminate debts. Bawasan yung mga bad debts. Uh, build up as an emergency fund. Para kung may emergencies, you don't need to touch your investments. And then finally, nasa, taas, nasa pinakataas yung investments. And uh, although in IMG, uh, what, we, what we teach is the stock market, uh, as a real estate coach, I would also suggest that you add real estate to your investment portfolio. And, but uh, in IMG, we recommend you build from the ground up. And some people kasi, ganito yung situation yung nasa left, sa left side. They have investments. Um, pero maraming utang. And unfortunately, uh, this is what I actually teach. Diba? You buy real estate with, uh, with a loan from pag-ibig, from banking, uh, from the banking industry. So kapag nagkaroon ng problems sa personal finances, diba? nagkaroon ng sakit or namatay yung breadwinner, then they will be left with a lot of debt and sometimes they'll have to sell their investment at a loss. So uh, what I am right now, what I'm advocating right now with my students is go ahead, so go ahead and continue to use my techniques to buy real estate, you no know, using other people's money. But I also encourage you, you know, to strengthen your financial foundation, and this is very very important to protect your own investments as well. Para hindi masayang yung pinaghirapan. Yeah. So what the of obviously. Uh, whether you're here live or you're listening on the replay, uh, try to think what is your situation right now? Uh, ikaw ba yung nasa left side or ikaw yung nasa right side? Because there are people that fail financially because they build a weak foundation. Okay? So I suggest that you build a strong foundation. And how do you do that? Uh, like I mentioned earlier, you build from the ground up healthcare muna, income protection, eliminate debts, uh, save up for your emergency funds, and then finally, uh, that's when you go aggressively you know, to invest. Okay. Some people, because they start with investments, uh, tapos hindi sila uh, properly protected. Okay. And so, dapat matibay ang pundasyon. Now, uh, Mr. Rex Mendoza, one of the mentors here in IMG, uh, says that you don't have the right to invest unless you are properly protected. So, for, for him, uh, and I also actually see his point, and I also really uh, believe in him right now, uh, is that before you invest, uh, put a level of protection for your family uh, and for yourself as well para uh, safe yung mga assets mo in the future. So protection muna bago mag-invest. Okay, concept number two, uh, understand how money works. Okay, so very, very simple formulas. Uh, we try to simplify things in IMG para maintindihan ng lahat ng tao. This is the formula for wealth. You save money. You give it time to grow. You choose investments na mataas, relatively mataas yung rate of return. Avoid nyo yung investments na may negative rate of return. Kasi mayroong mga, like especially in the stock market, taas babayan. So there are situations or there are times na nag-negative yan. So 
while it is good, uh, it is not the main uh, investment that we would uh, suggest. But obviously, you want investments na that will make more than inflation, and you want to minimize your taxes. So union, very very simple formula. Now you can grow your wealth if you increase the positive and reduce the negative. And so the positives must be higher than the negative to build wealth. Okay. Concept number three is the strategies of the wealthy. It's all really all about mindset. So there is a rich man's mindset and a poor man's mindset. So the rich mindset nila, save money first, spend what is left. And so you pay yourself first. Uh, the poor, they spend money and save what is left. So kaya minsan hindi nakakapag-save kasi nagastos na, wala nang natira. And so kailangan i-shift natin yung mindset natin from saving first and then spending later. Okay, then uh, a lot of rich, well, the rich people consider healthcare and insurance as an investment for the future. And this is more of protecting yourself in the future. Uh, the poor, they consider healthcare and insurance as an expense. Palabas lang siya. Lalo na yung hindi nakakaintindi sa purpose ng insurance. Sabi nila, hindi ko naman papakinabangan yan. Di ba? Para makuha yung insurance, kailangan mamatay ako. So medyo hindi nila naintindihan yung actual na purpose ng insurance. Now, the rich let money work for them while the poor you know, work hard for the money. Okay, so it's really up to you because the difference between the wealthy and most people is the way they think in planning for their future. Okay, for you guys you know, in the replay, you have to make a choice. Where do you want to be? Is a rich mindset ba? or is a poor mindset? Ka? And I know since you are uh, interested in money, I'm pretty sure that you want to go and move to the rich mindset. Finally, this is the basic concept number four, the X-curve concept. So this one actually um, is very, very helpful for understanding the different st uh, stages you know, in investing and in life. So in life, kasi there are two curves. The first curve is the money line. So this blue line, the money line ito na pataas, that represents our wealth during our lifetime. The responsibility line naman, yung orange uh, orange curve na pababa, uh, these are the things that we pay for. Okay, you mga responsibilities. So when you're young, when you're starting out, uh, habang bata, no savings in the beginning. Pero pag, uh, sa simula, mataas yung responsibility. Okay. Now, pagtanda natin, ang idea is malaki na yung savings mo, tapos maliit na yung responsibility mo. Kaya pag nag-retire ka, uh, sarili mo na lang iniisip mo. So while we're young, ang dami natin responsibility, lalo na kung may mga anak tayo. No? Uh, we take care of their food, their shelter, clothing, education, uh, their health. And sometimes we, uh, we get into debt. Kasi ba, bumibili ng bahay, bumibili ng sasakyan, uh, using debt. So merong mal malaki yung responsibility during this time. And during this time, dahil nga wala pang, wala pang savings, wala pang passive income, we work hard for the money active income pa yung pinagkukuha na natin. Okay. Now, uh, on this right side, when you retire, ideally, passive income is what you already have. Money works for you. Okay. At mababa na yung responsibility mo. Nakagraduate na yung mga anak mo. They already have their own lives. Ang inaalala mo na lang, sarili mo, or sarili mo at asawa mo. So, kayong dalawa na lang. Uh, mas konti na yung needs nyo. You probably can move to a smaller house. Uh, bayad na yung pa pagpapaaral nyo sa mga anak nyo, hindi na kayo responsible para sa mga apo ninyo. And dapat yung mga anak nyo na yung responsible for that. Pero it's up to you. Kung merong extra, wala. Hindi naman bawal na, na tulungan sila. Diba? But our, the biggest, I guess the biggest cost uh, during old age is health. Yan, dyan na pumapasok yung mga sakit. Uh, dyan na pumapasok yung mga maintenance medicine. And so, uh, nararamdaman ko na rin yan kahit 43 pa lang ako. <laughs> so, yan na yung mga health issues. In life, uh, in life we have two ifs. Uh, the first if is, what if you die too soon? Diba? Kung bata ka pa lang, laki ng responsibility mo, what happens to your family if uh, something happens to you and your income disappears? And the other if is, what if you live too long? So, dalawang possibilities. Diba? Kapag if you live too long, say you live to age 80, 90, or maybe even 100, how do you sustain naman? 
your lifestyle? How do you sustain um, increasing health uh, expenses? And syempre yung sa pag-retirement naman, syempre gusto mo medyo nag-enjoy, enjoy ka. Diba? So what are the solutions for that? Well, when you die too if you die too soon, you'll need to pr protect your family. Kailangan meron kang insurance for income replacement. And if you live too long, you need to protect yourself through long-term health care and investment. This is where you live on interest. Okay. So those are the basic financial concepts. So how do we build a solid financial foundation? Okay, so like we said earlier, we start from the ground up. Unahin muna natin yung healthcare. And there are different options for healthcare. And uh, in the Philippines, a lot of people die not because there's no medicine, but because they don't have money. So yung lack of money ang problem. And so what we need to know, uh, ano yung healthcare options natin. There are different kinds of healthcare. Uh, there is yung short-term healthcare or yung HMO. Uh, if you are, if you're not employed right now, if you're a freelancer, but you have to get this yourself. Now, if you are employed and your company provides uh, HMO, then uh, that's good for you. Diba? Meron kang libreng HMO while you are still working. Yeah, but when you retire, wala ka ng HMO. Walang, wala namang company na nagpo-provide ng free HMO sa mga retirees nila. And so you have to prepare for your own senior care. Eh, ang senior care, kapag kinuha mo yan, medyo mahal na siya. It's similar to HMO, pero hindi ka guaranteed na ma-approve ka kasi depende yan sa, ano mo, sa health situation mo. And then there's long-term long -term care. This is an HMO with health saving account. Uh, fixed premium, guaranteed renewal. You only pay for seven years. And it's lifetime use. So as long as meron, uh, meron funds yung uh, health saving account mo, pwede, pwede mo tong gamitin. So this is ideal for retirement. Uh, how does it work? Um, ang short-term healthcare kasi you pay yearly, you spend even if you don't use it. It's provided as an employee benefit. Your company pays for it, kahit hindi mo siya gamitin. And it is usually available during your productive years, during your employment years. And so that's your regular HMO. Long-term healthcare naman, uh, it's a healthcare fund. You can use it kung wala kang HMO, you're not employed. Say you're a freelancer or you know, um, yung... You, you're a dependent of your, sorry, you're, you're a stay-at-home parent, diba? you're a stay-at-home mom or stay-at-home dad, tapos yung spouse mo, meron siya HMO, pero yung company hindi in extent to the dependents. And you have to get your own HMO. Uh, but with, if you get long-term long -term care, so this is a healthcare fund that accumulates even if you don't use it. Yeah. So hindi siya nasasayang, walang, walang sayang. And this is something that you will use during your retirement years. Pero, kailangan kunin mo siya before the age of 60. And para ready ka na. Okay? Alright. Now, why do we need long-term care? This is the solution uh, if you live too long. Now, you don't need long-term care if you don't get sick. Diba? Malakas ang katawan mo. Hanggang age 90, hindi ka nagkakasakit. Diba? So, medyo imposible. <laughs> Or if you can rely on your children. Ayan, marami kang anak, sampu ang anak mo, at lahat sila magaganda ang trabaho. Ayan, may yaman sila, nakapag-ipon sila. Uh, pwede sila mag-chip in. Sila ang uh, magbabayad para sa uh, medical needs mo. Or yun nga, kung, kung pwedeng ipamana ng HMO yung health card mo even during retirement. Uh, but we all know that um, PhilHealth, we cannot rely on PhilHealth kasi 20% lang ang sagot ng PhilHealth. And so, saan mo ba gusto? Sa room A or sa room B? <laughs> so, ayan. Siyempre, nasa sa inyo na yan. Ano? Uh, masaya sa room B. Ayan, marami kang kasama, marami kang kakwentuhan. Pero walang bibisita sa'yo dahil matatakot sila. <laughs> so, siyempre, gusto natin may konting privacy. Ayan, tayo sa room A. So, that is healthcare. And the next building block of a strong financial foundation is life insurance. And the purpose of life insurance is this is um, your safety net, your family's safety net. So in the picture, we can see the children. They are very afraid of their parents. Because they know that they will be sick of their parents. Imagine this. He was born with his parents, and then he was not with his parents. He was afraid. He was not with his parents. 
So that is the purpose of insurance. Now, in case you can't be there to catch them, you make sure that you leave a safety net. And that's the purpose of life insurance. So you, you need life insurance to protect your family if you die too soon, to replace your income, to finance your children's education, to pay estate taxes. And uh, this is especially relevant for real estate investors. Kung marami kang properties, so malaki yung estate mo uh, to help your family no, para hindi nila kailangan mag-prepare for estate tax, no, have uh, adequate life insurance coverage for your estate tax. And then uh, this is instant money for your family um, in case they need to spend for your final expenses. Yeah. Um, and then if you have debts, it's uh, the purpose of insurance also is to pay off debt. Um, if you are a real estate investor, make sure that you have mortgage redemption insurance and or uh, you can also actually use your your life insurance policies. Uh, para makasave ka dun sa monthly payments mo, you don't need MRI. If you have a life insurance policies, yun ang pwede mong gamitin to pay for your uh, bank loans. Yeah. Alright? So if you love your family, get yourself protected you know, with life insurance. Yeah. And in the market, uh, ang ginagamit talaga now right now in the market is the VUL. So the VUL is a combination of life insurance and investment. Okay, uh, what we have in the screen is term insurance. Term insurance is the cheapest form of life insurance. Uh, this is uh, paid every year at a very low premium. And on the other hand is investment. So a VUL combines insurance with investments. Although for most companies, yung VUL, medyo mahal. Uh, mahal ang uh, insurance and the investment part is invested in the stock market. So ganun nag-work ang mga VUL. Our recommendation is uh, in IMG is you buy term insurance because it's cheapest and invest it in mutual funds or the premium deposit fund ng mga life insurance companies. Now this requires financial literacy and discipline kasi hindi to packaged investment. Diba? Ang VUL, package na siya, meron kang fixed na babayaran, yung company ang bahala sa uh, pag-invest. Okay. Dito, ik ang kukunin mo lang is term insurance. So it's very cheap, kukunin mo siya, pero yung extra money that you save, uh, uh, that you save, you put it in your investment. So it's up to you kung saan mo gusto mag-invest. So know what's suitable and affordable for you. Pwede kayo mag-shop around. Ayan. But I can definitely tell you, term insurance is cheaper than VUL. And you can verify that. So uh, here is a table of, of Manila Bankers Life multiple option super term 18. So ito yung tinatawag namin in IMG na most 18. This is a level term insurance. So for 18 years, um, 18 years covered ka dun sa face amount mo as long as you pay the annual premium and very cheap yung annual premiums. Like if you will notice here for the age 20, ang 1 million coverage niya, dito under the column na 1 million, it's only 5,380 uh, annually. Annual, annual na to. Kung VUL ang kukunin mo, uh, malamang ang babayaran mo dyan per month is around 4,000 to 5,000 per month. And so that's why term insurance is actually the cheapest form of insurance okay so for if you are in your 40s or 50s like ako, i'm in my 40s so around nasa 9000 per month na if you're in in your 60s and i'm pinaka highest uh, 40000 na uh, 100 you cannot get insurance already at age 61 and so you 60 na yung limit yeah. so i highly encourage you kung uh, below 61 pa kayo Get insurance para to help your uh, family in case something happens to you. Okay. How much insurance do you need? It's really very simple. Your annual income times 10. Uh, because the purpose naman ng insurance is income replacement. So for example, if you're making 40,000 per month times 12, so your annual income is 480. Multiply that by 10, 4.8 million. Your insurance coverage na kailangan mo. Uh, we'll ha we have actually a more complete uh, insurance needs calculation. We use that DIME method. Uh, we will not do this in this webinar, but in IMG, we have financial workshops where ito din discussed to in depth. Okay. Now, a 4.8 million coverage is actually very, very affordable for a 30-year-old 
uh, person, 23,700 lang covered ka na for 4.8 million. That's around 2,000 per month. So it's actually very cheap. Kung, kung, kung VUL yan, that's going to cost around siguro mga nasa uh, 150,000 na yan for 5 million coverage. Okay, so this, the, what, what I love about most is it's actually very flexible. Uh, kaya multiple option ang tawag sa kanya, it's really very flexible. You can use it for different, uh, in different ways. Like in this case, this is being used as a educational plan. If you'll notice here, it's my left side, meron issue age. Issue age is five years old. Ang projected rate of return is 12%. The mode of payment is annual. And so, ang annual contribution na ginawa for this plan is 100,000 for five years. Five years siya, 100,000. Pero yung premium niya is only uh, 3,900. Meron siyang 500 pesos na policy fee for the first year. So, murang-mura lang yung term insurance part. Yung majority is napupunta dun sa premium deposit fund. It's a it's an investment, uh, investment component. Yeah, so, 95,600, yun yung napunta sa investment. So, if 12% yung projected rate, ang year-end yield is around 11,472. Of course, hindi guaranteed ito because uh, we cannot guarantee the rate of return. But uh, just supposing ito yung uh, returns mo, at the end of the year, your investment will be 107,072. Tapos ang total debt benefit would be 1,107,000 kasi 1 million yung uh, face amount, nung co yung coverage, yeah, 1 million. Okay? So you, you do that for, or, or for this particular plan, limang taon na nagsasave ng 100,000, and then tapos na hindi na siya mag invest for the next, uh, uh, from the 6th year to the 18th year, kailangan mabayaran pa rin yung term insurance. Pero ang nagbabayad din ng term insurance is yung fund. Okay, so since nasa, by the 5th year, nasa 682,000 na yung fund, 3,900 lang yung binabawas, 12% uh, return, kayang-kaya nung dividends yung uh, term insurance payment. And ngayon on the uh, on the 14th year, 18 years old na yung bata, dito na nag-start mag-withdraw for the uh, for the tuition, etc. So you just say, nag-withdraw ka ng uh, 100,000 and for tuition fee, kahit taasan mo by 10% every year, uh, discovered na yung annual tuition fee na 100,000. Tapos may graduation gift pa na 500,000. Okay. And then yung matitira, yung 1.6 million, addition na yan sa retirement fund mo. Okay, so that's why um, po posible na dalawa, you hit two birds with one stone. Uh, you have your educational plan, you have your retirement fund as well. Okay, So that is uh, income protection. Okay, Now the third building block is you manage your debts. Okay, So um, you may be asking, bakit hindi inuna yung utang? Okay, bakit inuna yung healthcare but inuna, inuna yung uh, life insurance? Well, the thing here is kapag merong nangyari sa'yo, like uh, nagkasakit ka, kung wala kang healthcare at wala kang savings, ang mangyayari dyan is mangungutang ka. Diba? Madadagdagan yung utang mo. So to protect yourself from having to take out a loan, yan, kailangan mag-prepare ka na for healthcare and income protection. And when you have that in place, saka ka na mag-manage ng iyong uh, debts. Okay, how do you manage that effectively? Well, you you stop spending. You know, it's very very easy. You know, stop spending for things na hindi naman important. Ayan. So like, kung may mga sale, wag mo nang pansin yung mga sale unless bi merong katalagang plano ng bilin, de ba? Plano mo bumili ng damit. Ayan, hintayin mo yung sale dahil merong karan na budget para sa pagbili mo ng damit. At kung ano man yung masave mo dun sa sale, ipunin mo. Huwag mo ipambili ng, ng ibang bagay. Kasi ibig sabihin na wala ka na save. Diba? So, there are ano, companies actually uh, have uh, a lot of ways to get us to spend. Diba? Meron yan no or low down payment. And so, meron yung mga sale at discount. Yan, buy now, pay later. So, lahat yan, mga technique ng mga company to get us to spend. Okay? So, a lot of people don't have the slightest idea of what is good debt and bad debt. Uh, you have to make a distinction. Okay, good debt is debt that uh, 
allows you to make money, bad debt, puro palabas lang siya. So, kailangan eliminate ang bad debt. Okay? You have to change your money mindset. Okay? Debt won't solve money problems. Okay? Jobs are not permanent, so you, you cannot rely on your jobs. Kailangan bumibili ka talaga ng mga assets, nagsisave ka talaga. And do not spend money not yet earned. Uh, people also, they don't save money kasi sinasabi nila, kapag nag-iipon, meron nangyayari. And so para walang mangyari, hindi na lang kami mag-iipon. Okay, so <laughs> medyo mali, mali-maling mindset. Ayan. At yun nga, walang, walang one-time, big-time luck. So kailangan we work hard. We work hard uh, to build our wealth. Okay. One of our mentors in IMG is Mr. Benjamin Felix Santiago. So they, are, they wrote this book, Debt Destroyers. Uh, they're a very interesting couple. They're a fantastic couple because uh, before they joined IMG, they were high-level uh, managers in a, a big company here in Manila. So kumikita sila na six-figure income, pareho. So tag-isa sila na six-figure income. Pero kahit ganong kalaki yung sweldo nila, uh, nabaon sila in eight-figure debt. Uh, so imagine mo yun, grabe, ang laki-laki ng sweldo, pero nabaon sa utang. Because apparently, kapag malaki yung sweldo mo, nakakatempt nakaka gumastos ng gumastos. And so sila, uh, hindi sila marunong, uh, yun pala, hindi, hindi sagot yung malaki yung income, ano? lalo kung wala kang financial education. And that's why it's very, very important um, that we reach out to people to educate them. Okay. How do you destroy that in case in case you have debt right now? If you're listening uh, to the recording, you have debt, how do you manage that? Well, you increase cash flow. And you reduce your expense and increase your income. Huwag uh, kang masatisfy having only one source of income. Kailangan mag-create ka ng multiple sources of income. Uh, very obviously, don't get into more debt. You know, live below your means. Live simply. Uh, change your habit of spending to a habit of saving. You know, kapag gustong gusto mong gumastos, uh, remember that you want to manage your debt and you change your habit into saving. At kung marami kang utang, you make a list of all your debts, pay off the high interest debt uh, na mababa yung balance para magkaroon ka ng momentum. And uh, alam mo na mababayaran mo yung mga utang mo. And then you go from there, once babayaran mo yung lowest balance, you attack the next, ano naman, the next lowest balance. Ayan. Hanggang maubos mo yung mga utang mo. You may also want to consider liquidating non-income assets to pay debts. Diba? Kung marami ka naipon na sapatos na hindi mo naman ginagamit lahat, diba? meron ka sampung sapatos, benta mo yung pito. Ayan, meron ka pa rin tatlo na <laughs> pwede mong gamitin. Kung tatlo yung sasakyan mo, benta mo yung isa. Kung dito ka sa Manila, benta mo yung isa para may magamit ka ng co during coding. Or kung gusto mo, benta mo yung dalawa tapos mag-commute ka na lang kapag coding ka para makatipi ka. So, consider liquidating non-income assets. Finally, get a coach to guide you. Yan, medyo mahirap uh, makalabas mag-isa. Uh, lalo na kung may mga challenges, minsan nakaka-depress, di ba? Kung hindi ka kung hindi mo alam yung ginagawa mo, parang hindi nagwo-work yung ginagawa mo. Pero when you have a coach supporting you, uh, guiding you in whatever it is that you want you want to achieve you now in life, uh, it's going to help you in your success. Yeah. So Peter is also you know, a real estate coach. And uh, uh, we have a lot of coaches here. Yeah. So the, the, once you learn how to manage your debt or eliminate your debt, uh, start. Uh, accumulating emergency funds. So emergency funds, ang purpose niyan is for things na hindi mo planado. Diba? Ba, wala ka ng trabaho. If you're working right now, na wala ka ng trabaho, uh, that will help you for the next three to six months habang naghahanap ka ng trabaho. Kasi maaaring hindi instant. In, uh, alam ko, uh, meron akong kaibigan, ano, high-level executive siya sa uh, isang malaking telecom company. So, ang laki ng, ano, malaki yung salary niya. At sinabihan siya nung boss niya na uh, hindi ka mawawala sa company na to. Okay? So, dahil valuable talaga siya dun sa company na yon Ngayon, ang nangyari, yung company nila binili ng, ng ibang company. So, nawala na yung boss niya. Kasi binenta na nung may-ari. Eh. So, ngayon, sabi ngayon ng bagong may-ari, Ah, uh, dalawa ang ano ko, dalawa na ngayon ang vice president ko for sales. 
hindi ko kailangan ng dalawa, isa lang ang kailangan ko. So, yan, goodbye. Uh, goodbye, di ba? So, walang ano, walang permanent job. Uh, kahit mataas na level ka na, hindi mo masasabi kung kailan ka pwedeng matanggal sa trabaho. So, you need to be ready no, with with an emergency fund. Ayan. So, uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, options or a lot of suggestions. But uh, our basic suggestion is to have three to six times your total expenses para hindi ka masyado ma-stress no, during the time na naghahanap ka ng trabaho or for whatever emergency that may be. All right. Now, how do you save the right way? Well, we believe that you pay God and you pay yourself first. Paano yung formula? We have a specific formula. Kung 100% ang income mo, unahin mo muna yung tithes. And so you take away 10% of your income and give it back to God because God is the source of all wealth. Uh, and then you pay yourself first. Yung 20% ng income mo, that goes to your investments. Okay, so para nagsisimula ka na magpundar, uh, mag-ipon. And then kung ano man yung gagastusin mo, yun ipagkasyahin mo dun sa 70%. And so this is our basic prosperity formula, na 10-20-70 formula. Ayan. It's probably going to be difficult to follow, lalo na kung nasanay ka na. No? If you're in the recording, nasanay ka na, na nauubos, you live paycheck to paycheck, okay? you live in the rat race, Ayan, yung pag uh, kung ang sweldo mo ay 15 katapusan, 'di ba? Kapag ano na, uh, at 13 eh, at 14 eh, nauubos na, nararamdaman mo na, paubos na yung pera mo at excited ka ng sumweldo. And so ibig that's a sign na kailangan mong bawasan yung expenses mo. And the first step is to classify your needs and and wants. Ano ba 'yan? May purpose ba 'yan o pang-forma lang 'yan? 'Di ba? Yung mga mamahali na bag yan sa mga babae. And uh, gustong gusto na ng maraming iba't ibang bag dahil uh, para daw yan sa kung para terno do sa suot nila. And ako iba-iba yung suot nila kailangan yung bag nila bagay din sa damit nila. And obviously forma lang. So medyo masanay muna tayo na kahit isa o dalawang bag lang na pinagpapalit-palitan. And uh, sa mga lalaki naman relos. Uh, relos, uh, mamahaling relos eh ngayon, actually, medyo optional na lang itong relos. Ako, wala akong relos kasi meron naman ako cellphone. Eh, eh wala, wala rin relos. Di ba? Hindi naman importante yan. Eh. Uh, meron naman tayong cellphone. Doon naman yung, yung oras. Yan. Or yung iba may mga gadget. Alam mo, itong web webinar na ito, itong topic na ito, tinuturo ko ito sa mga company. You know? At meron na nakikwento sa akin, may mga tao na bumibili ng magandang cellphone pero wala namang load. Yan. So, para saan pa yung maganda mong cellphone kung wala ka namang load, di ba? Sayang, sayang. Uh, mas mabuti pa, ibenta mo yung mamahalin mong phone, bumili ka ng murang phone para meron kang pambili ng load. Yeah. So, you have to classify. Uh, ano ba yan? Kailangan mo ba yan o gusto mo lang yan? Yeah. So, save. Save money instead of sale. Uh, kung maga, instead na pumunta ka sa sale, yung, yung word na sale, palitan mo yung L. Diba? Isang letter lang naman yung kailangan mong palitan. Eh. So isipin mo, sale is for losers. Yeah, letter L. Save, saving is for victors. Yan, para sa mga panalo yan. So kailangan palitan mo ang iyong favorite word. At iwas na sa luho. Iwas sa eat out. Yan, yung mga nagtatrabaho, madaling kapag uh, payday, nagkakayayaan, kumain. Ayan, uh, pero iwas luho na para iwas luha in the future. Tapos magkaroon tayo ng mindset na reduce, reuse, recycle, eliminate waste and leaks, but turn off yung mga ilaw kapag hindi ginagamit, turn trash into cash, benta nyo yung mga uh, basura nyo para kumita kayo ng uh, konting pera dyan, and only buy what's needed. So maraming tao kasi nag-grocery, ang dami-daming laman, diba? ang dami-daming laman sa cart, pero hindi naman nauubos, tinatapon din lang, sayang. So sayang yung pera, sayang yung pagkain, di ba? Yung mga tao sanang kumain yan. Yung daming tao nagugutom. Para, so sana huwag tayong magsasayang ng uh, uh, pera at uh, mga resources. Okay? Tapos yung mga little expenses. Yung mga eat out, eat out. Uh, yung tubig, bottled water, pakapikape, pa soft drinks, soft drinks. Uh, hindi naman talaga kailangan yan. So iwas nyo na, tanggalin nyo na. Malaki yung masasave nyo actually kapag tinanggal nyo yan. Lalo na kung ano ka, kung mahilig ka uminom. At uh, or mahilig kang magsigarilyo, wala na maiikakabuti sa katawan mo 'yan. 'Di ba? Magkakaroon ka lang ng sakit. So, bawas mo na lang pandagdag mo sa iyong mga investment. 
Okay. So, yun nga, sabi ni Benjamin Franklin, a small leak can sink a great ship. Yan. So, kailangan bantay natin ang mga expenses. Okay. Understand where your money goes. Ano ba yung mga big leaks? Ano yung mga liabilities? Yan, assets or anything you buy or have that puts money in your pocket. So, yung mga gadgets, hindi naman talaga yan asset. So, bahay. Yung bahay nyo, that's either an asset or liability. Depende yan. So, for us, mga real estate investors, syempre, kung pinapaupahan mo siya, then that is an asset. Pero kung malaki yung bahay mo at hindi ka naman kumikita dyan, malalo na kung kondo yan. Ako, ang kondo ang mahal. May mga kondo, ang mahal ng uh, kondo association juice. Kung hindi mo rin lang nagugulat ako, mayroon mga nag invest sa kondo, hindi nila pinapaupahan. Ang laki ng ginagastos nila sa juice. Diba? Sayang na sayang. Diba? Kung meron ka sasakyan, yung sasakyan mo, uh, that's either an asset or liability. Diba? So it's up to you to decide kung ano siya. Okay, so I suggest uh, you accumulate assets. Okay? So yan, ang uh, uh, order of priority, the last one is investment. Okay? So you need to understand the rule of 72, yung power of compounding interest. So according to legend, si Albert Einstein, sinimplify niya itong co concept ng compound interest. Okay, yung compound interest, meron formula. 72 divided by the interest rate is the number of years to double your money. So for example, meron kang uh, investment vehicle na nagbibigay ng 4% interest. So 72 divided by 4, your money will double in 18 years. And so for example, 29 years old ka, nag-invest ka ng 100,000 at age 47, magiging 200 at age 65, magiging 400. And so one time lang, nag-invest ka 100,000, age 65, 400,000 siya. So times 4 yung paglaki ng pera mo. Um, kung dinoble mo yung rate of return mo, ginawa mong 8, 8% per year, your money will double every 9 years. So yung 100,000 mo, magiging 1.6 million by the age of 65. And kung 12% naman yung return mo, it will double every 6 years. So yung 100,000 mo will become... 6.4 million at age 65. And so if you will notice, yung rate of return, dinoble lang natin from 4 to 8, pero yung end amount niya at age 65 times 4. Okay. While yung sa, uh, from 4 to 12, that's times 3, times 3 lang yung rate of return, pero yung amount mo, yung amount, yung money mo is actually 16 times. So that is the power of compound interest. Kung meron kang earnings, yung earnings na yon i -re invest mo to buy more assets. So that's uh, how you make compounding work for you. So it is not enough to save money. No, we need to grow our money. So saan mo kukunin yung money to invest? Ito yung mga illustrations natin kanina, di ba? Kung halimbawa, bumibili ka ng soft drinks palagi, two cans per day, 25 pesos per can. Uh, hindi ko alam kung updated to, kung mas mataas pa to, mas mababa. Pero on a monthly basis, 1,500 yun. Uh, yearly, 18,000 yun. Yung 18,000 na yan, kung sinave mo yan for 20 years at 12%, meron ka 1.5 million. Diba? Hindi mahirap maging milyonaryo. Diba? There are many, many ways to become a millionaire. At hanapin ninyo kung ano yung mga leak diba? sa uh, spending ninyo. Tanggalin nyo yung mga leak na yun at in instead ilipat nyo into investment. Lalo na itong mga babae, di ba? Yung hair maintenance. Ayan. Uh, kung straight ang buhok, ipapakulot. Kung kulot ang buhok, ipapastraight. Di ba? Eh, mahal din yan. Di ba? 2,000 per month yung mga magpapareband o yung magpapakulot. Ayan. So instead, nagawin mo yan every month, um, isave mo na lang. Ayan. Kahit yung mga gimmick, yung mga gimmick na uh, paglabas-labas uh, once a week, na ako, uh, mabigat rin yan. Okay? So... How do you grow your wealth? Well, in this webinar, we talk about growing your wealth through stocks. Uh, we have other webinars on real estate investing, pero um, dahil ang real estate investing takes more brain power, no? it takes more training, it takes more financial literacy. So we'll start first you know, with uh, stock investments, yung pinaka-simplest na pwede nyo simulan. Uh, if you, but if you love your future, you, know, you need to really learn how to invest in yourself. Okay. You need to invest. Okay. So, but have a purpose. You know, have a purpose. Have a goal for investment. Because, like I shared, 
yung uh, entrepreneur na nag-invest sa Multitel, which is a scam. Ano ba yung purpose niya? Parang nag, nabulag lang kasi siya. Meron siyang 22 million na uh, mababa ang interest na kinikita sa banko. So, naghanap siya ngayon ng investment na mataas. So, because of greed, uh, gusto niyang kumita ng malaking pera, uh, nag-backfire sa kanya. Nawala pa yung pera niya. No. But if you have a plan, di ba? Uh, if, if you know you have a purpose, you have goals for your investment, you can choose the appropriate investment vehicle. Whatever it is, kung healthcare ba yan, retirement, education, vacation, kotse, or sariling bahay, pagplanuhan nyo lang uh, para malinaw, uh, para hindi nawawala yung investment ninyo. So alamin nyo muna kung saan kayo patungo. Okay? What is the right investment vehicle? Well, for uh, your emergency fund, kailangan liquid. So, PDF, deposits and money market. For home repair, dapat medyo liquid din siya. So, uh, sige, ganun din, PDF bonds and time deposit. Kung education, this is more medium term, pwedeng PDF or a balanced fund. But for retirement, uh, kailangan high growth. Uh, suggestion here is equity fund stocks or PDF. Or uh, for retirement, you know, if you... Um, if you invest in your financial literacy, uh, you can also add real estate. So I highly encourage you uh, to invest in real estate for retirement as well. Now for protection, now you invest in long-term healthcare and in IMG, we offer Kaiser and uh, Manila Bankers Life. So kailangan tama yung sisakyan para sa purpose. Kasi yung, for example, um, uh, you're investing for emergency fund and so I don't suggest that you invest in real estate. Diba? Hindi, hindi appropriate na vehicle ang real estate for emergency fund kasi hindi liquid ang real estate. And so merong purpose for each investment. Okay. Uh, so the simplest investment that you know, a beginning investor can get into is mutual funds. So your mutual funds parang co-op yan. Marami kayong investor. You contribute money. Ipunin yan ni fund manager. Si fund manager siya ang bahala mag-invest in stocks. Um, whatever return, that is passed back to the investors. So a mutual fund is professionally managed. Hindi mo kailangan mag-aral ng stock market investing. So full-time, para mo silang hinire. Diba? Meron kang tao na hinire to invest for you. Okay? It's a very liquid. Okay, It's diversified in uh, stock uh, investments. So walang... Walang isang stock na naka-concentrate ang isang mutual fund. So, naka-spread naka out siya. At mababa lang yung investment requirement. Ayan. It's also very transparent. Alam mo kung saan naka-invest yung stocks mo, uh, yung money mo. And, uh, we also have strong track record. Yung, because may history na yung mga mutual fund natin in the Philippines. Medyo mature na yung maraming fund. So, makikita mo na yung pag-akit at pagbaba niya. Okay? Uh, it's safe and secured by uh, stock certificates. And the gains are tax exempt. So ito yung maganda rito. Uh, kung ang mutual fund mo went from 10 pesos per share to 40 pesos per share, walang, wala kang babayaran na tax on the, gain, on the gains. And so that is the uh, big advantage of mutual funds. Okay. So marami siya advantages, especially for someone who is just starting out, tapos wala pa masyadong financial literacy, and medyo maliit pa yung savings. Okay. All right. So, uh, here's an example. Phil Equity is one of the funds na available sa IMG members. Um, Phil Equity started in 1994 at 1 peso per share. Okay. In 2017, nasa 40 pesos per share na siya. Okay. So, if you invested 20 years ago, or say if you invested in 1994, now 100,000, 100,000 more 4 million okay, without you doing anything. Okay, so uh, that's how you diversify your income. Okay, if you invest consistently and think long term, yan, uh, madaling maging millionario. It's very, very easy to be to have millions you know, um, in the bank. Tapos i-multiply mo pa yan, whatever returns you get in the market, you can reinvest you know, in other investment vehicles. So just remember to make no money, time, and rate of return work for you. Okay. All right. So that is how you build a solid financial foundation. That right? you start with healthcare. Now go, then add income protection. You eliminate your debts. You build your emergency funds, and finally, 
you accumulate assets, you, know, you accumulate, you start investing. Okay. Right, so we recommend Kaiser, you know, uh, Kaiser for your healthcare needs uh, and Manila Bankers Life for your life insurance needs. You join a community of savers and investors to help you manage your debt and you invest in PDF, you know, bank funds, uh, bond funds or bank deposits for your, emer for your emergency funds. And for your investments, you invest in PDF, mutual funds, stocks, and in real estate. And all right. Now, finally, last chapter natin, uh, understanding retirement. Because some of you may be entering retirement already or you're planning for a retirement. Now, uh, everyone has an estate. But what we need to understand is you know, the government taxes you. There are only two things that are uh, sure in this world, death and taxes. Okay, you are sure to die and the government is sure to tax you. Well, when you make money, they tax you. And you spend money, they tax you. Babayad ka ng VAT. When you save money, may tax din. Diba yung savings account mo, 0.25% na nga lang yung, yung interest, meron pa yung withholding tax na 20%. At pag namatay ka, may tax ka pa rin. Yan, tinatawag na estate tax. So, uh, most people think that estate planning is for the rich who live in mansions. But in fact, everyone has an estate. So, kahit actually yung, ano mo, yung savings account mo, something happens to you, hindi pwedeng i-withdraw ng asawa mo or ng mga anak mo yung, yung savings mo. And uh, it's actually illegal for them to do it. Obviously, kung meron nilang ATM, pwede nilang i-withdraw yan, di ba? Pero kung walang ATM or kung hindi nila alam yung PIN, yan, itong ATM mo, hindi nila ma-withdraw yan until they settle your estate. Mag, uh, magkakaroon ka ng uh, estate settlement. So maraming requirements yan. Ipapasa mo yan sa banko bago mo ma-withdraw yung iyong mga uh, savings. Yan. Now, if you have, uh, if you are like Peter, if you're like me and Peter, you invest in real estate, nag-accumulate ka ng maraming properties to be able to transfer that to your heirs and kailangan yung heirs mo will be able to pay for estate tax. The good news naman is 6% na lang estate tax. So bumaba na siya because of the train law. Dati nasa 20% yung highest. So malaki yung tax uh, on the rich. But right now it's already only 6%. So kailangan i-estimate mo, lang, i -estimate mo yung value ng estate mo and have life insurance that can pay um, uh, can pay that estate tax. Okay. So there is a saying in Proverbs chapter 13, verse 22, a wise man leaves inheritance to his children's children. And so hindi lang sa anak mo, kundi para pati na rin sa mga apo mo. Okay. So that's what a wise man does. Okay. So that is it actually. It's time for you to take action. Uh, if you're listening to the recording, you, know, you will always have an excuse not to save or invest. No matter what excuse, one thing is for sure, you will get older next year. And mag the birthday ka, tatanda ka next year. Your child will grow and eventually enter college. And tataas na naman siya na isang level. And then you will re eventually retire and stop making active income. Okay, whether you like it or not. Diba? Hindi ka... Lalo na sa Pilipinas, sa Pilipinas yata, binaba na yung optional retirement age. Parang nasa 55 na yata. Diba? Uh, at pagdating mo ng 65, mandatory na yun. Hindi ka na pwede magtrabaho until 66. Kahit gusto mo pa o kahit kailangan mo pa. Okay? So, thus, be prepared for the two ifs of life. Remember the solutions. No long-term care um, and investments for if you live too long and insurance if you die too soon. Uh, take action, be financially educated, act on your financial needs and make the right choices. Okay, now here's the good news. Whatever your situation is right now, you can make a change. Okay, you can go from being broke you know, to being blessed. Kahit nasa, uh, kung nasa recording ka, you can zero out your debts kahit gano pa yan kalaki. Uh, we've had people na eight figure yung utang, di ba? nakakabaliw, tens and tens of millions of pesos, pero na-eliminate nila. You just have to make the decision you know, to start today. Okay? How do you do that? Well, step one is to have a financial checkup, know your financial status, and define your financial goals. You want to save and invest correctly. So this financial checkup is done by the person who invited you. Right? So in this case, if I invited you, we're going to do that you know, after this 
uh, once you're done watching this replay, uh, we can have your financial checkup. Yeah. Step two is, you know, you expedite building a solid financial foundation. Increase your cash flow. Okay, so um, in IMG, if you become a member in IMG at issue on cash flow, you actually have a, uh, an opportunity to become part of the financial industry. If you want to become like me, you know, become a financial educator, so you can make money you know, teaching other people how to invest. And if, if that is you, kung ang problem mo ay cash flow. Now, kung hindi ba naman problem ang cash flow, you have a strong cash flow, uh, but you, have, you, know, you don't have enough health care or you don't have enough income protection, uh, then you start building you know, your financial foundation. Okay? So change the things you do in your spare time. Use it to learn and earn and have multiple sources of income. Now, I hope some of you will join me in IMG to do the mission of uh, bringing 10 million Filipino families uh, to become financially literate by the year 2025. So help yourself, help your family and your friends. Ano rin to, doble rin ang purpose nito. Kapag tinulungan mo yung mga kaibigan mo na mahilig mangutang sa'yo, darating ang panahon, hindi na sila uutang sa'yo. Diba? So para sa sarili mo rin yan. Okay. Step three, start your journey to financial freedom, attend uh, financial workshops, and learn how to become your own financial educator. So in IMG, we give you this book, The Secret to Saving and Building Your Future, and we have financial uh, workshops as well. Yeah. All right, so it all starts with financial education. Okay. And you can also tune in to DZMM Teleradio and uh, we, ha we have we have a frequent uh, let me just bring that back. So every Saturday 5 a.m. Uh, sa kwarta kusina segment ng kape at salita. Ayan, medyo ano to, medyo kailangan mong gumising ng maaga to be able to hear you no know, Joe and Bart and Noel, these these people are the founders of IMG Philippines. They're the leaders of IMG Philippines. So they have a regular show in DZMM Teleracho. Okay, so these are some of the people, some of the leaders here in IMG, the authors of uh, Death Destroyers, Benjamin Feli Santiago, they're here in the lower left-hand uh, picture. Uh, over here at the top is Jerry Udarbe, you know, one of the leaders in IMG. Okay, just very, very quickly want to give you what are the benefits of joining IMG. So again, those the free financial education, you have your financial checkup. If you want to make this a career, you want to have an associate financial planner certificate, so you get a discount as an IMG member. And you get access to uh, these various financial products, so you can buy for your, own, for your own needs, or you can actually also sell these products for other people, itong Kaiser and Manila Bankers Life. So these two are the main products of IMG. Now you can also get 50,000 life insurance for only 500 pesos when you become a member of Fidelity Life. Um, when you invest in mutual funds, usually meron yang entry fee. Uh, at the start, nasa 3% yan. Uh, pero if you join IMG, 0% yung entry fee. So wala kang babayaran na commission when you invest in mutual funds as an IMG member. If you want to learn how to invest in stocks, then we have uh, our own stock uh, platform, the MyTrade. If you want to learn digital marketing, so in IMG, we have the digital marketing tool, the Dominate tool. And, um, we have Memorial Concierge Service. So, kung bagay dito, itong concierge service na to parang event planner. Uh, if if something happens to you, this is for your burial, you know. Um, para yung family mo, iiyak na lang sila. Hindi na sila mo problema sa pagpaplano ng pagpapalibing sa yo. Now, if you have a lot of assets, you can protect your assets by forming your own corporation if that's what you want to do. So this, um, merong access to this service at a discounted rate. Uh, if you also want to buy a car, uh, we, you can let IMG buy for you. So IMG will negotiate for you and you can uh, experience you know, um, a lot of savings. Ito pa lang, ito auto program. Say if, you're, if you plan to buy an SUV, Meron bumilis kami ng SUV just recently. He was able to get a discount of 150,000 pesos. So dun palang sulit na yung IMG membership. You can also 
save on life, non life insurance uh, this is the, also the other advantage so if you if you are a real estate investor normally kailangan mo ng fire insurance or kung marami ka sasakyan yan kailangan mo ng car insurance so you get discounts on non life insurance uh, if you want to buy no kung hindi ka kung hindi mo type yung foreclosed properties dahil marami ka ipapaayos ba busy ka wala kang time magpaayos you can buy at a discount from these companies, SMBC, Ayala Land, DMCI, and Vista Land. You can also invest on memorial lots. Apparently, um, merong shortage ng memorial lots. Kaya kaya nagmamahal siya. Kaya dahil nga, uh, hindi naman pwedeng kahit saan ilibing ang tao. Diba? Kailangan nasa ano yan. Nasa mga specific location. So apparently, a memorial lots are also a good investment. And we have a partner in IMG, Haven of Infinity, a memorial lots nila nasa Batangas. If you want to learn digital marketing, if you want to learn how to write your own book, uh, yeah, so we have uh, courses also from these coaches, uh, from these uh, uh, coaches that were well-known coaches in the Philippines. And you also get exclusive discounts if you, if you want to study or if you want to send your kids to informatics. Yeah. And if you wear eyeglasses, yan, pwede kang makapag-avail ng free, uh, free frames, free IMG and Kaiser frames. You just need to purchase the lens. So yung lens may bayad yun, yung frame lang, libre. But you can have uh, two different frames every year. Okay. Um, and then merong, you get unlimited free consultation sa mga Kaiser Medical Centers. Uh, the good thing with Kaiser is we are exp always continuously expanding. Uh, in uh, if you are in Cebu, yan merong mga uh, Kaiser Medical Center in Cebu. If you're from Manila, there are uh, Kaiser Medical Centers in Makati, in Ortigas, and in uh, SM North. If you're from Quezon City, and in the South, I think there is Kaiser Medical Center in Davao. And but uh, we are expanding to key cities, so, so continuous ang pag-expand ng Kaiser. So eventually, if you're not from any of these cities, uh, eventually magkakaroon ng uh, medical center near you. Yeah. You also get access to ozone th therapy. Apparently, this is age-defying. Age and so para sa mga katulad ko na nararamdaman na ang age, and you can get ozone therapy. Yeah. And when you join IMG, uh, like I said, this is also a business opportunity. You become a business owner or a financial educator. You're part of the financial industry. The financial industry is actually the biggest industry in the world uh, in terms of making money. Kung pagkakaperahan lang, pag-uusapan, you, you get into the financial industry. Yeah. You get incentives to travel the world. So merong free vacations, meron ding mga subsidized vacation. And uh, we have conventions you know, in different locations in the world. So uh, sometimes merong subsidy for a, for a convention or sometimes free to get there if you qualify. Yeah. We have uh, recognition programs. And ito rin yung pinakagusto ko in number 28. You get free HMO uh, if you get promoted you know, within IMG. So for marketing directors and senior marketing directors, and you just need to qualify. Meron a certain level of sales to qualify. It's actually very easy to qualify for that. Okay. So that's it. Uh, that wraps up our uh, webinar you know, for this uh, evening. Uh, what are your next steps? So the next steps is really to get your financial blueprint you know, with the person who invited you. So if I invited you, uh, let's just schedule a financial blueprint with you. Uh, I suggest you join me in IMG. Now, if I have a special offer actually uh, until the end of August 31st, if you join me in IMG and you get a Kaiser Ultimate Health Builder, Kahit anong classing plan, even if you just get the minimum plan, uh, you'll get free access to my uh, online course, uh, the Dealmaker Crash Course. So I actually sell uh, the Dealmaker Crash Course right now for 12,500 pesos. So you will get that for free if you join me in IMG and get a Kaiser plan. All right. So um, if you haven't added me, if you're, re if you're watching the recording, and you haven't added me, so add me in Facebook, uh, fb.me slash ronald.kagape. Let's get started you know, with your financial education. Okay. Let me just... Uh,